Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing this gorgeous? How are you guys doing today? I hope you're having the most wonderful, gorgeous, beautiful weekend. This is going live on the weekend, I believe. So I hope you're having a great weekend and it's lovely. Today's video, guys, I'm actually so excited because we're gonna be doing a full face video or we're gonna be testing, honestly, Everything Essence. Essence Beauty, Essence Makeup. I have not used a ton of stuff from Essence. I know they have like that super popular mascara, obviously. But I don't know a ton about them, which is why I wanted to do like basically buying everything. I literally went to Ulta, bought the entire store. I did. I am spending about... 190. No, oh, yeah, I spent a lot of money because everything's under five bucks, essentially. So the bag's full. The bag is full. Coverage. <laughs> I just figured it'd be kind of fun to sit down and chat with you guys and see which products here are worth it, what's with the coin. I feel like the brand has some really, really bangers. Some really bangers. Has some bangers in it because I've tried a couple things and I really enjoyed it. Like that one, like Glow Niacinamide Primer. That is supposed to be a dupe for the Glow Recipe one. Bitch. It really is. And they just came out with a bunch of new stuff recently. So I'm like, let's put it to the test. Let's see the tea. What's the tea? So that's what today's video is going to be. You guys, we're going to do a full phase using all Essence products. I bought it all. As always, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't forget to watch it. You know, deal with that. But if you guys do like this video, if you guys like testing new products, if you guys like the gays, don't look at me like that. Don't act straight when you're gay. Give you a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. But yeah, let's go get started on testing this full face of essence. Okay, so we have a ask like brand new. We have a makeup remover. This is giving Lancome. You guys, let me just empty this bag. Hold on. So I have everything here from my category on the face. They came out with this new foundation, this Keep Me Covered foundation, new concealer to go with it. I've heard good and bad things about the foundation and concealer, to be quite honest. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to try it out together. But first, let's prime. To not prime, it's a crime. And we don't want to go to prison. Honestly, I don't think I would do well in prison. Just like, let's have that moment. I don't because I'm not the most like, you know what I'm saying? So I just don't know if I would be my journey. Okay guys, they also have like some skincare stuff. So I'm gonna go and try the Essence Lip Care Booster Serum first to hydrate the lip. Mmm, mmm. like a peachy scent to it. Oh, that's lovely. It's our lip primer. We're using it for lip primer. It smells so nice. I'm actually ready. You better fucking work. You better work, bitch. Work, bitch. So we have some primers here, guys. These are brand new. We have the Hydro Hero Primer and the Poreless Partner Primer. Come on, play on words. Mattifying and blurring. Hydration. So I'm just gonna do the mattifying on the center of my face. And the other primer will be going on everywhere else. It's really silky, very silky smooth. It doesn't feel like that like super dimethicone feeling kind of primer, like it doesn't feel like that. It feels much, much ni nicer. It does a little some some. Is it the most like pore filling primer I've ever tried? No, but it definitely made them look smaller. So, yo, like essence. For the price point, bitch, the fuck? So let's go and use the hydrating one everywhere else. I like the component too, like I like that, just like a little squeezy tube. Quick shout out to the employee that was there at the Ulta I was at because she was literally in the middle of like changing out the essence like gondola, and she really did that for me, and she went into the bag, and she found stuff. Oh, then that's nice too. Hyaluronic acid, cucumber extract, because it smells like cucumber -y. Ooh. Híjole. What is your side of me? No, it feels really nice. It feels very hydrating. Is it the most hydrating primer I ever tried? Nah. But it does feel nice. It does feel nice. I'm impressed with the primer so far. Let's also use the Good Stuff Deep Puff Eye Serum with Caffeine, Vegan Collagen, Hyaluron. You don't need to go that crazy with the big words. Okay, you don't need to get that crazy. Oh, it feels like... You know what? No, I'm not gonna say what it reminds me of. I'm not gonna do that because my channel is not rated TVMA. You don't need to go that crazy with the big words. So I'm not gonna say what this clear consistency that's kind of sticky reminds me of. I'm not gonna say it. I'm just not gonna do it. It's a clear eye serum. Very clear. Clear and clean and under control. Let me go and soak this uh, little makeup sponge real quick. I bought this one there too. This sponge is so motherfucking squishy. <laughs> it's like a little pillow. Okay, this, I feel like, okay, you know what? I'm going in with just no thoughts. Not a thought in my eye, not a thought in my eye. I just feel like so far I'm getting pleasantly surprised and that excites me. I also grabbed the makeup buffer brush. Brushes wise, they're not, 
This one feels nicer than this one. But yeah. Let's go and talk about the Keep It Covered Long Lasting Foundation Transfer and Waterproof. The color arrangement. It's laughable. I laughed when I saw it. I was actually shocked. She literally brought out every single shade for me when I was like, is this everything? And this is all the shades? And she's like, mm-hmm. And I'm like, hmm. Well, you don't have to worry about me. You do not have to worry about me. That's a joke. The colors of this were horrible. I feel like all, all of them looked yellow. Like literally all of the colors looked jaundiced. The one that was the closest to me, I just was hoping and praying was ivory. Doesn't have a good shade range whatsoever. Essence, please step it up with the colors because the colors are horrible. This is gonna be probably way too light for me, I can just assume. And then I grabbed uh, the concealer in the shade Shell 40. So I don't have a lot of hope when it comes to this because the shade range was, oh wow, we really are just, okay, well. We're just gonna do a light layer. You guys, this is not my shade. What the fuck is this? Okay, but it's okay because we're gonna warm. You know, it's been lovely. It's just been a lovely day and we're gonna all be here, okay? You guys are gonna, Follow this journey along with me. I will say the finish is very pretty. I would say medium coverage, almost radiant finish, almost. Not quite there, but natural radiant finish. I can't just get over the color. The color is just shocking. And the fact that this was the closest thing to me, I'm feeling Casper. I'm, it's giving friendly ghost. Oh, the brush is not the best either. <laughs> the brush is better with the, for the stash though, let me say that. Honestly, I wasn't expecting, you know, greatness i wasn't i was expecting the brush to act like a couple bucks and it's acting like a couple bucks okay so i will say so foundation obviously the shade is a completely horrific haunting match i don't want to talk about it but the finish is very lovely and i feel like they could be onto something if they were better with their shade selection because the sh the colors are true t true t probably some of the worst shades i've seen like in the color range in a very long time like horrible, because the shades I saw were all like yellow. It was pretty bad. I was actually kind of surprised at how bad they were because Essence isn't a small brand. They're a brand that's in a ton of different stores and I was expecting more and I didn't get more. I got less. Okay, it's going with the concealer, the Keep Me Cover Concealer, no fragrance, no silicone, no added mineral oil, vegan with aloe vera. How is that shade 40 in concealer is darker than the fucking foundation that's in 50? You guys, this is out of control. Oh, it gave me no coverage. <laughs> okay, work. A very light, 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 lightweight concealer. You know, we can get it to medium coverage, I'm sure. Let's keep going, let's try. Do you guys see the color? Let me tell you something really, really, really quick. I have to look good. I do, because I need to film a little TikTok after this. So I'm going to try to look my best that I possibly can. We started so strong, how did we get here? The foundation has more coverage than the concealer does, which is never something I would expect <gasps> when it came to that. You know what, I also have this, I grabbed this just in case. This is the Camouflage Matte Concealer Waterproof Tattoo Covering. Maybe it's gonna be a little bit lighter. That looks fucking used, bro. Bro, mm -mm. guess we're not using that. Guess we're not using that. Mm -mm -mm. Concealer is creasing really quickly. Foundation concealer, not the best. I feel like if you can find your shade, if it like actually, if you find a shade that works for you, I think you can actually very much enjoy it because the finish is very pretty. It looks nice, nice and medium coverage. It's buildable. You can get it to a nice spot. I think I got it to a nice spot. I'll show you guys on my phone too, of course. As you can see, I'm giving you ghosts. It's giving Casper. Creasing under the eyes immediately. But the finish is pretty nice. Oh, I got little dots by my nose. For some reason, it's just not a green. There. Finish is nice. I think it looks lovely, but we got some work to do. Damn, look at that fucking crazy bitch. I can still see the blue. Whew. So let's go ahead and move right along. Okay, we are gonna take the powder. The essence powder is what we're gonna do. And we're gonna set our face. This is something I really do enjoy. The camouflage powder I think is freaking I do think the powder is sickening, and I think the powder is gonna literally save us from ourselves. I'm just gonna set my under eye really quickly. It's probably gonna oxidize, but you know what? Here we are. You know, this is the journey we chose. We? Who's we? Let's go right in with Miss Champagne Powder. 
The good thing about using this powder because it's a foundation powder under the eyes is that it's gonna give me a little bit more coverage. Let's take the Windsor Weekend, you guys, okay? I also have these little blushes that I thought were really cute. These are brand new, like these are new products I was watching. These are the Baby Got Blush by Essence. I grabbed two shades because I was curious. It's like the cute little cream push-ups. Ooh, dude, wait, this is promising, you guys. Promising. Oh, they smell like watermelon. Holy fuck, you know what? Because they are a little thicker, I would suggest that we go straight from brush, straight from component to brush. That's what I would suggest. Okay, so they're a little thicker. The cream is a little dense. They don't blend out super easily, what I'm trying to say. As you can see, like I just patted on them and it didn't go anywhere, right? Okay, yeah, because you have to work hard. You better work, bitch. Okay, so what we're gonna do, next time we're gonna use this, you guys, is we're gonna take straight from this and we're gonna apply onto the face. We're not gonna swipe. They're nice in the way of like, they give you a lot of coverage. They just dry down very fast. So you actually have to work with them much quicker than I was expecting. They don't blend the easiest. Color-wise and effect, they are beautiful on the skin. I think they look so nice. They give me a nice glowy finish, that little soft hint of color, but work quick and go directly onto with the brush. Uh, baby, it's gonna fuck up your face. Like I know I don't have foundation under here. I'm sorry, baby, I didn't know. I didn't know, honey. I'm sorry. I just didn't know. Okay, let's go ahead and just set the rest of my face with the foundation powder. Miss Camouflage. I like the powder. I do. I think the powder is, so far when it comes to like the makeup portion is the saving grace is Miss is the powder. Because I like the finish with the powder. I like the way it looks on the skin. I just think it looks lovely. I think it's absolutely lovely. You guys, what if I look like shit? What am I going to do? Because I actually do have to film a little something, something after this. Like I have to do a sponsored TikTok. Like baby, it's spons. Hashtag ad. The 16... Our cover and last powder foundation has been so far my win when it comes to like the actual complexion products. And I think the priming products were sickening. The priming products were gorge. Let's go with the matte bronzing powder for lighter skin. That's this guy right here. It's a nice huge ass bronzer. And we're gonna go with some bronzer on the skin. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Oh, see, this is the kind of bronzer I like. Oh, you got me good on this one. Oh, it smells like the beach. See, this is nice because it's sheerer and you have to build it up. You have to build like a good amount. You have to get it there because it's pretty sheer. I should have grabbed the darker shade, but this is for lighter skin and I'm light, I'm fair. I do think that the effect is really nice. These hairs are gonna be chopped off soon. If they don't start cooperating with me, that's what I think. Once you really like press it on, this is more of a press on than a blend on because babe. <laughs> I like the bronzer is really nice. I think that it needs to be a little bit darker, just in general, because I don't know if I want to apply 7,000 layers later. I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know if I want to build that much. Like, I love a building br bronzer. You guys know this about me. But when it's that much, I get annoyed, you know? Let's take a little bit of the contour. Let's see. The oh. See? Yes. Yes. Add a little bit of dimension from this little contouring duo palette. You guys are looking for a little contouring moment from the drugstore. A literal little contouring palette from Essence. I like this. I do like the powder so far. I feel like the powders are working well. It's more so the liquids that I'm having a problem with, to be honest. Isn't my face coming together now? Like with the bronzer and everything added, like I feel like we're coming together. We have a highlighting powder. The highlighter, it's called the highlighter. It looks lovely. Luminous glow. It's supposed to give us a light luminous glow. You know what? It's one of those that just takes some building, I'm assuming. Like my blush isn't even that set and it's such a light highlighter. Like it doesn't give off a very intense highlight. It's more of an inner glow. Looks nice there on the forehead, looks nice, look at. Okay, so if you're looking for something subtle, if you're looking for a, a nice like lightweight, subtle glow highlighter from the drugstore, this is that girl. It's not gonna give you blinding. Sometimes I forget like that not all highlighters are meant to be like, in your face, pow, pop. Got, 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 got. That's all, folks. But I would like it to be. And the reason why is because if it's cut, 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 cut quickly, you just have to use a little bit and you're good to go. You don't have to build it up. Unlike when it's like pretty subtle, you have to keep building and building, building. Sometimes it never gets there. Sometimes it never gets there. You get lost in translation, you know? This would be really nice if I could um, open this. Pure nude highlighter. So we have a baked highlighter. Okay, so. Okay, so this is a much more subtle highlighter. It's a baked highlighter, not baked like those Italian like baked blinding highlighters, it's not that. You know what this reminds me of? This could literally be like a glowy foundation powder because it has color to it. It has like almost like coverage. See this? 
there's almost coverage to this highlighter. I'm so confused. I'm so confused, babes. Oh my word. It's just gonna give, it's giving Glar. It's giving Cher. No. Also, this is the only blush they had. The only blush they had is called The Blush in Bespoke. I'm just gonna do a little, uh, a very small amount because I'm already blushed. It's also too dark for me, but a little bit goes a long way. We're fine, we're fine. The blush is nice. Like I feel like it gives you a good like amount of coverage, nice little sheen. It's more of a shimmery blush. So I feel like we're getting somewhere. What's happening over here? Like what's going on right here? You know, there's like, it's com a combination of the blush, the glow. It's making it look like I have some fucking shadow right there. When I turn into the light, it's gone. Is it a vein? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? I don't know what it is. We do a little spritz of fix and last 18 hour matte effect. I already feel like I'm too matte. This is the only safe they have. Oh, okay. Oh, that was hairspray. Yep. <coughs> that was motherfucking hairspray. And I got it everywhere. Woo. Throw Shamu back in the ocean. Woo. Somebody throw Shamu back in the ocean. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and move along to our eyebrows now. Our face is done, our base is done. I think that we did the best that we could, is what I think, personally, inside, in my bosom, and in my heart, and in my soul, and in my whole. There was only three colors for the brow pencil. Three. This is the Baby Got Brow Eyebrow Pencil. I grabbed it in the darkest, made in Mexico, period. I'm not gonna do a ton with it. I'm so powdery. We're gonna do a little bit of this through the brows. This is too dark for me, I think. Even though I have black hair, I don't wanna have a black brow necessarily. I just want a little bit of some filled in dimension. It's nice though, it's creamy. It's gliding very lovely, very lovely. Not too waxy, not too stiff. This could be a dupe for the ABH brow definer. I'm not even kidding. Like it has that same kind of edge to it as well. The problem is again, the color arrangement, the color assortment is so horrendous. I don't even know what to do about that color arrangement. I don't, I really don't. Y'all, my skin is so fucking dry from Vegas. It's not even a joke. I'm literally, as I'm doing this, I see little flakes of hair just sloughing off my skin. <laughs> I do think that pencil's really nice. I chose the color was better, but it did have a nice little effect. I think we're onto something with this brow pencil. Okie dokie, so these are my brows. They're covered up. They're obviously like a little darker than I usually ever go, but it is what it is, because there was no other options. The other one was literally like a warm chocolate brow. And then there was taupe, so limited. I'm gonna take the Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel. It has filling fibers in it. This is actually looks very promising. I love a good little brow gel with fibers. It's not the strongest, let me tell you that. It's not, I can already tell you that right now. However, it does, um, it's almost like mascara for your brows. Like it definitely does make them look fuller. I'm not really seeing many fibers though, let me say that. Where are the fibers? Where are the fucking fibers, baby? No, I don't think so. No. No. Like I was saying, I feel like this is like more of like a mascara for your brows. It definitely will add deeper color to them. I don't think that's gonna really do much for the hold. There's no hold really happening at all. It just kind of brushed through some pigment is literally what it did and made it look a little bit more full. Totally fine, if that's what you're going for, great. I was expecting more of a hold, personally, didn't happen. Held me down, really. Brow pencil though was lovely. I just wish the color was better. I don't want, I, I'm not gonna use this brow color. Like it's too dark. Eye primer, they just came out with eye primer. Prime Like a Boss Eyeshadow Base. Long lasting, no creasing, intensifying, universal shade. What shade is it? Let's find out. It looks like Feels very gelatinous, actually. Very jelly. It almost feels like, oh, you know what? It totally feels like that. It feels like the Urban Decay Primer Potion, if you guys have ever felt that. A silky, silicone-y slip to it. That's what it's giving. Silk. I'm not really into primers like this, um, unless it's something that's gonna make sure it lasts a gazillion years on my eyes. Like, unless it's that, then I'm not into it. Okay, guys, so I went and just like quickly cleaned up my brows because honestly, they were just giving me heart palpitations is what they were giving me. Now it's giving 2018 brows. So you know what? We're just gonna have to let it happen. I'm sorry in advance. Okay, so now you guys, let's go on with some eyeshadows. 
we have a couple, I bought a few options. They have these really cute eyeshadow palettes, like these six pan palettes that I thought were really honestly adorable. I was very impressed with like the color stories of them, just in general. I got the nude color story and I grabbed the bronzed this way one. Look at these, how adorable are these? Come on. And I also grabbed this palette. This is the Welcome to Marrakesh eyeshadow palette. I like the vibe, the fact that it even has a little camel press. That's so cool. Look at, can you guys tell? There's a little camel. I'm going in with the nude one first. Just gonna swatch a few shades, see what we think. The shimmers feel very soft. I'm not mad. Am I like super impressed? No, they're just like very soft, like sheen, but I'm not angry with them. They could have been much worse. Let's see if there's a difference with the bigger palettes. Oh, that already feels different. Like that is foiled. Whoa, you see the difference? Honey, the big palette is like, bitch, hello, I'm here, I'm queer. They're a lot more chunky, almost gritty, if you will. Oh, let me show you a couple more. I'm kind of impressed with these in comparison. These three and these three. Let's do the Mirakesh one. Let's do it because honestly, it's giving. It's giving Mirakesh. Mirakesha. Let's go with camel first. That camel shade, it just looks nice. Going in with our little primer down first, taking a Lunar Beauty brush. So far, what I've just noticed in general with the Essence so far is that the powders have been really nice and it's the liquids I'm having trouble with. You know what I'm saying? Like the liquids have been giving me a problem. These aren't dark shades and they're building very nicely, so I'm impressed. How much is this bigger palette, Miss, Miss Mirakesh? How much is Miss Mirakesh? Oh, got it, okay, so Mirakesh palette is 10 bucks. See, this makes more sense. This is the most expensive thing I have here. It's 10 bucks, but honestly, like, I am more impressed than I thought it was gonna be when it came to these. For only $10, you're getting how many shades? 12 shades. I think it's pretty nice and I like the color story. I really do, I think it's really nice. And they have some nice pops of color in here. Not only am I not mad, I'm impressed. I think that they build nicely too, look at that. Like it looks nice. Let's go in with maybe a darker shade, more of like a, the plummy shade. Like is it as pigmented as other shades I've used? It's not, but for the price point for 10 bucks, I do think that you can make some things happen here. She's out here, she's doing the damn thing. She's working, she's a working woman. You better work, bitch. Baby, it's giving desert. It's giving Dubai. It's giving tripping with tar. Um, never mind. I'm just gonna shut the fuck up. I'm just gonna stay silent. If you guys saw these little palettes, I think you guys would be impressed too. I really do. I'm reviewing these products for the price point that they are. You know, I'm not expecting them to be Pat McGrath. I'm expecting like them to be cute, but I'm not expecting the world. I'm gonna go on the lid with. I feel like I gotta go in with one of the shimmers. Don't you think? One of these like more foily shimmers. Cause look at this, like you guys, like that's pretty freaking good. Looks a little crunchy on my eye, it looks a little crunchy. It's giving me texture that's not there, but the sheen is there. It's giving foiled for sure. Pretty good, pretty fucking good. Even though the shimmers are chunky, definitely use like a glitter glue or primer, use your finger with them because they're gonna be kind of those that will give you a little bit of fallout. Again, I'm more impressed than I thought I was going to be. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like on my phone really quickly. So you guys can see what I'm saying when it comes to the texture on my lids that isn't there. There's a little bit of fallout, a little bit of texture. Again, this is what I mean by texture. Right here, it looks almost like bunched up. Like I don't have wrinkles there. This side's better, but that side is a little more like, oof, spooky, you know? Okay, I'm gonna finish the eyeshadow off camera really quickly and I'll be back to do some liner and mascara. With you. Don't know what she's saying. I didn't know she sang. I thought she rapped or whatever. Let's move on to these I have used before. This is the Lash Princess Liner in the shade black. I think these are great. I really do. I think that I've struggled before because sometimes I feel like they're pigmented and sometimes I feel like they're not. So I think that the problem is, is that I think they can be dried out. Like you can be fucked up and get a really bad one. Like that's already been kind of dried out, you know? But I do like how easy they are to use, these little markers. This one's working well. You guys, I already feel like the eyeshadow, I will say, on my lid is already looking a little flaky, like it's about to flake off my skin. Can't use that much, I guess. Just can't use that much. Okay, so I do like the Lash Princess liners. I think that they are hit or miss. So it really is more of a risk, because you just never know if you're gonna get one that's pigmented or not. Mine does have some pigment in it, and it's still going, so I'm happy. <laughs> But I grabbed something I have not tried yet. This is the Essence Volume Booster Lash Primer with Super Fruits. So I thought we would try this out and then put mascara on top of it. Mascara, I haven't tried. You guys, I love the Lash Princess mascaras from 
essence. I think they're amazing. I think they do such a good job at them. So that was just something I already knew I liked. So I didn't want to get one of those. But they just came out with a new mascara that I thought would be really nice to try. Mmm. It's grabbing. It's definitely grabbing those lashes, baby. It's grabbing them fully. And then this is the new Lash Like a Boss Instant Volume and Length Mascara. And it has that kind of like U component that kind of supposed to be lifting. We'll see about that. I think that regardless, like Essence is good mascara, so I'm not gonna be too scared about this one. I think it's gonna be just fine. Very thickening. Hmm. I wouldn't say necessarily lifting or lengthening. Hmm. If I got like the Lash Princesses more. It looks awesome on my lower lashes though, that looks awesome. Let's do on the other side without the lash primer and see what happens. It could have been the lash primer fucking it up. Oh my gosh, that looks better without the lash primer. So much better. Beach. The lash primer fucked me. Fucked me real good. The mascara is actually very nice. It's lengthening. It is lengthening, it is thickening. The primer got me together because that looks pretty fucking fierce. That lash primer was like a flop. I also want to grab a little bit of this Essence Extreme Lasting Pencil on the waterline. I bought this too. Oh, it's creamy. Thank God. Oh, that's actually very fucking nice. Wait a damn minute. Great coverage. Very just easy to glide. That's one of my favorites of the video. It's a little eyeliner. Oh, gay gasp. That's nice. Okay, guys, so we have a lash on and now, and I feel so much better. I feel so much prettier. Isn't that weird how, like, I feel like my mascara looked better without the mascara primer. So now, you guys, move on to our lip. We have new lip liner here. We have these Essence 8 Hour Matte Comfort Lip Liners. And they have this little plastic component, my least favorite kind. Very creamy components. I grabbed two shades. I grabbed like a brownie shade and a pinky shade, Soft Beige and Cinnamon Spice. I'm gonna actually go in with Cinnamon Spice and use that on our lips and see the motherfucking tea. Like that's so creamy, look at this. So, so, so glidable, wow. That's. Lovely. These are probably some of the most glidable, like nice feeling lip liners I've ever tried from the drugstore, truly. The only problem for me is the component. I don't like pencils like this. I need them to be sharpenable, but if you don't mind, I think you'll really enjoy the formula. At the other side though, I will say they have a little sharpener. So if I, I guess if I want to, oh God. Those sharpeners at the end of the thing is so camp, I hate them. But it did get a little sharper. It's even easy to apply despite it being in a plastic component, not sharpenable. I'm impressed. Okay, lipstick time. We have these little components. I have the shade Three Bold, I believe. I don't like the color. I'm just kidding, I don't wanna use it anymore. It's stupid. But glided gorgeously. A glid, if you will. Glitted. A glue. We have the Extreme Care Hydrating Glossy Lip Balms. Eight hour hydration. How's that going? Let's see. Oh, there's color. Uh-huh. Oh, wow. They're going really nice. See, yeah, this like is more my vibe right now. Not necessarily sticky. They are very thick. I would say medium coverage for a gloss. Not sheer, clearly, but not full, full coverage either. You guys, that's a little thicker than I'm used to. It just, it feels like a gloss. Like you're wearing like gloss, like, oh shit, that's a gloss. Let me tell you guys the shade of this because it is lovely. Soft peach. And it really is that soft peach color. I'm going to wipe this off because I would also like to try this. Oh yeah. What the fake extreme plumping lip filler with, with chili extract. Oh no. Because it's giving dupe for Too Faced. Lip injection. So far nothing, so far we're okay. This is their like extreme version, so let's see what happens. I have a little bit of color to it too. Now we sit and wait. There's a sensation there. There is, there's a sensation. <gasps> don't lick it. Don't fucking lick it. I don't feel a big sting on my lips. Like, not very plumping. Let's give it a few more minutes. Hold on, let's see. Hold on. Let's give it a few more. So there's definitely a tingling sensation, but it's not that strong. I feel like the lip injection is more intense, much more, like, severe in the way of, like, you're like, oh, God, oh, God. You can, like, feel it. This one, it definitely is there, but it's not that strong. Like, it feels, like, not too bad. It's very bearable. It's almost like a cinnamony feeling. For it to be their extreme, I was expecting a little bit more, I will say. I was expecting, like, a little more, like, Ugh. It's just not giving what I thought it was gonna give. It was supposed to give, but it did not give what needed to be gave. Let's wipe this one off. Do they look bigger or is it the lip liner? 
the world will never know. Let's go back to that peach. Okay, you guys, and that is it for today's video. What do we think of the face? This is fully completed. This is our full face using essence. I bought everything. Maybe I got it all. I'm swimming in essence right now. Swimming in the essence of beauty. So you guys, let's go into our top three of the video. There were a lot of products here that were sickening. I did enjoy a lot. There was a lot I didn't though. Like there definitely was some hits and definitely some misses. There were some things I was just expecting more from. However, I do feel like I got my face to a good spot once I worked at it, once I really persevered. It was terror. Essence in general does a good job at the priming portion of the face. I think they do a, just a good job at it. I really like their little uh, lip booster serum. I like their primers. I think they do a good job at that. I think that's where they excel. It's like almost like that skincare infused makeup. They do such a good job at that. So I think that that's something that if you were interested in Essence to try to focus on, I really love that um, that watermelon dewy niacinamide like priming plumping with a squirter. I love that. I think that's fantastic. I think it is a great do for the glow recipe one as well. Makeup wise, I love this gloss. I think this is fantastic. I really think it's gorgeous. I feel like it's feels like a gloss. It's a little bit heavier feeling, but it's not sticky, so I don't mind it as much. If you are someone with long hair, you might mind it. You might, you might. I feel like the hair would get stuck in there, but it's not that bad, I promise you. It's really, really not that bad. I think the color is nice. I love that medium coverage finish to it. You guys, the sponge. Do not sleep on the fucking sponge. It is so sickening. I was actually very shook by it. It's so soft and squishy. It's like a little marshmallow. I really enjoyed this sponge. If there's any sponges left over, you should grab it. 100%, I'll be getting more. This little liner, look at my waterline right now. It is so freaking bright and pigmented and full coverage. Look at that under eye, like. What? In the shade Silky Nude, a nice nude color. I'm always actually looking for a nude that has a pinky undertone for my waterline. So this is literally the exact color I go for. What else did I love? Oh, the lip pencils. The new lip pencils are freaking great. Honestly, like, even though I don't like components like this, I'm very impressed with the glidability, the formulation, the way it just gave me a little bit of a good like leeway time before it like really set into place. I'm very impressed with the lip pencils. Those are shocking, shocking beauty. I feel like those are the really the ones that I can be like, yeah, I'm really like, I'm impressed. I think you guys, if you guys tried it, you guys would be impressed too. Products here, a lot of the other things I did enjoy, but I'm not like obsessed with. Like the foundation concealer, the blush, like I feel like we made it work but we had to work really hard. Powders, they do a good job. Essence does a good job at powders as well. So if you guys are interested in them, in Essence, look into the priming products with skincare infused situations, the powder products for the face. I think they do a good job at those. And the lippies, I think they do a great job at the lippies and mascara, obviously, like they're known for that. So overall, you guys, I had a lot of fun filming this. Hope you guys enjoyed watching it. My full face of Essence. I bought it on. I do think that we got to a great spot. I can film my little spawns after this. I was scared though, but I don't look bad. I'm okay. I'm okay. Um, anyways, you guys, have a great rest of the night or day, wherever you guys are, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, I love you so much. Hold on. Last issue, last issue. Baby, where does primes we're gonna get? Where's primes we're gonna motherfucking get? <laughs> How will they know? It's fucked. How will they know? Okay, you guys. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm. Mira que linda, que curiosita. Chiquita, mijita, bebita, cecita. I'm Latina.